Friends, this video shows how to play with the FECO tip. This is a mature, non-intumescent cataract. By this time, main incision and on side port has been made. An air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now, this is tripon blue dye to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens. Now the dye is washed out. I use BSS to wash the dye out of the anterior chamber. Many colleagues don't wash it out, just replace it with viscoelastic substance. Another side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And now this is how to do capsulorexis. In this case, since this is a non-intumescent cataract, I am going to do rexis at on go, meaning adequate rexis at the first attempt. Just tend the anterior leaf of the main incision and leakage of viscoelastic substance will be negligible. And that's it. Rexis is done. Hydrodissection is usually not required. But since this is a non-intumescent cataract, I did a little bit of hydrodissection. The aim of this video is to show how to play with the FECO teeth. Turn the teeth towards the lens matter. Turn the teeth towards the lens matter for better followability. In this case, I am holding the nucleus in bevel down position and chopping it. You can see the endonucleus holding it in bevel down position and chopping it. We can do in bevel up position also. I just did this for a change. This is the endonucleus being emulsified and taken out. Now at this time the see the the tip is turned towards the lens matter. Hang in here, it is turned towards this side. So if you turn towards the lens matter, followability of the lens matter increases dramatically. And in no time, in few seconds or in few minutes, the job is done. That's it. This is the last bit of nuclear fragment. Now, in such cataracts, lot of cells stick to the posterior capsule like this. Nowadays, I just dislodge these cells with irrigation. with the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. If I try to do polishing with Simco cannula, I can cause a small PC rent which is not desirable. So I am just irrigating over the cells sticking to the posterior capsule and see the cells get dislodged. And once the cells are dislodged, it can be removed by bimanual IA or Simco cannula if you want. So the cells are dislodged and the posterior capsule is nicely polished. After dislodging these cells, they are 
aspirated by bimanual irrigation aspiration. And now in this case, I am going to enlarge the main incision by 0 0.2 millimeter for easy implantation of the nucleus of the uh, intraocular lens. That's it. The lens is in the bag. So the main incision is 3 millimeter in this case. So the case is done. We just have to hydrate the side ports and I always prefer this is moxifloxacin and I always prefer a final lavage because during this whatever we inject that can be contaminated with particles. This is the final lavage. That's it. So the aim of this video is to emphasize the importance of turning the tip, turning the bevel towards the nuclear, towards the nuclear fragments, towards the epinucleus, towards any lens matter. Followability of lens matter increases dramatically if we turn the tip towards the lens matter. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.